the choice between using Microsoft 365 or using Google for your organization now really comes down to which ecosystem do you like better? The other thing to factor in is what do your staff like to use? What's the purpose of Google Workspace? Funnily enough, Google Workspace used to be called Google Apps, but I think that was confusing because you have Google Apps on your phone, you have Google Apps on the browser in Chrome browser as well, and calling their business system Google Apps as well was a bit confusing. So Google Workspace is the name of a, a business suite of tools, which most primarily comprises of Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, then Google Docs and Sheets and Slides. Now, that all probably looks very familiar to most people who come across Google Workspace for the first time because you've probably got a Gmail account which has all of those. And Google Chat and Google Meet are the two that I forgot. So it looks just like a Gmail account with one main difference. And that one main difference is that I get to use my own business or organization domain name with my Google Workspace. So I'm in my Gmail. I can click my pretty little face in the bottom here and Google Workspace has my business email account that I'm signed in on rather than a Gmail account or an at gmail.com account. And so since I am using and running a business, I wanna have my business brand. This gives me the ability to choose my business brand. Now, what else does it give me? Well, it also gives me the ability to set up users under my company that I manage and I control. Now, these users are all of the staff inside of my business. Now, I need a pay per user, but I can create lots of different user accounts and each one of those different user accounts I can use for my company and it means that I can create one company under one brand, multiple different people using their own personal email addresses. So that's the primary purpose of Google Workspace. We've got lots more videos on the channel that will definitely be useful. We've got a beginner's guide to Google Workspace. The choice between using Microsoft 365 or using Google for your organization now really comes down to which ecosystem do you like better? Microsoft has a couple of particular apps and integrations that talk to things or other software that work well with Microsoft. And Google has a lot of integrations and apps that work well with other mostly cloud-based applications. The other thing to factor in is what do your staff like to use? Many staff these days, particularly that we have an emerging younger workforce, would prefer to use Gmail as their interface over using Outlook. And so using Gmail is probably gonna be better than using Outlook if you've got a younger team. They're probably already using Google Docs. Many people are already using Google Docs. So if you're one of those businesses where you've got a young team, you're already using Google Docs, you like working on the web and you like working online, maybe you're already using Google Drive as well, it would potentially be a good idea to make that switch over to Google. Microsoft SharePoint is a much better solution if you want to do workflow automation than Google Sites is, which is their equivalent intranet product. No automation there. But I would argue that Google has a lot better integration to other apps because so many cloud apps talk to Google. There is a very large library of options for integrating with other cloud applications if you're using Google. Now, if you're curious about that, we've got a sales team which will do demos and talk you through the process and help support you with that. We have a large team in the Philippines and book in a consultation session for free with a team and they'll be happy to give you a demo and walk it through. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.